वेलकम नमस्कार डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द सेशन ऑफ ऑनलाइन टीचिंग लर्निंग सब्जेक्ट विल बी अकाउंटेंसी द फर्स्ट चैप्टर इन अकाउंटेंसी इफ यू आर इन ग्रेड इलेवन और इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड कॉमर्स दिस इज हाउ वी स्टार्ट विद अकाउंटिंग ओके दिस लेक्चर विल ऑल्सो बी यूजफुल फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव नॉट ऑप्टेड फॉर कॉमर्स इनिशियली राइट फ्रॉम इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड और दे आर बेसिकली इंजीनियर्स और साइंस ग्रेजुएट्स एंड नाउ दे हैव टर्न टू एम बी ए एक्सेट्रा एंड दे आर नॉ रिक्वायर टू लर्न अकाउंटेंसी सो दिस इज हाउ वी स्टार्ट विद द सब्जेक्ट सो वेलकम वंस अगेन द नेम ऑफ द फर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ कोर्स विल बी इंट्रोडक्शन टू अकाउंटिंग नाउ लेट स्टार्ट Before that, you all imagine and tell me if someone gives you, or if you have to borrow few bucks from your friends for meeting some expenditures, daily expenditures, and you have just forgotten your wallet somewhere, and now you don't have money, and you are required to borrow something, say one thousand bucks, or even in case. like if you have taken some pocket money from your father so in that case now in both the cases you will have to i mean some of you must be maintaining a proper record of it like where you have expended things and how much you have in balance for meeting certain more due expenses whatever so basically if we have a certain precious valuables like money we all are bound to keep certain records isn't it so that we come to know about the balance of it how much we possess how much we are in need extra need rather how how much we are short of like how much we need more to meet the due expenses maybe in the short term long term whatever and hence we keep a record that may be a basic daily record like diary maintaining rough notebook maintaining whatever so this is how accounting starts we are accountable to ourselves or someone like maybe maybe if you have got the pocket money from your father you are accountable to him and maybe he he may be asking you you what have you done of the pocket money that i have given you this month or whatever so even you may be required to pay back this bucks 1000 bucks to your friend somewhere in the near future and then you have to maintain the record of it so okay, when i should repay him how i will repay him whatever so this is how recording or accounting peeps in in our life actually in day to day life we all are practicing this accounting even in the households we actually keep the record not on notebook and paper and not with the notebook paper pen things but we actually have these things in our mind that okay these are the grocery items which are going to finish this month and will be required to replace them or whatever so this is how recording comes in or we actually have it in our mind okay this should needs, needs to be replaced or my petrol in the car or two wheeler has to be replenished whatever so this is how accounting comes in so we have to account for every penny we spend or we receive isn't it same thing applies in the business or corporate world now in the business or corporate world it is required that you should maintain every detailed record of your expenditure or income or your uh, due items due money to your creditors debtors etc now these things what are debtors creditors etc we will see in the next lecture okay this is just a basic lecture for accounting to introduce you to the topic so this is how accounting peeps in now what is accounting accounting is basically collection of the facts isn't it now in case of collection and recording classifying using it for the decision making purposes so this is what is accounting in basic terms daily definition you can see for a layman but in case of corporate world business world we are required to maintain every detail of 
the expenditure income etc because the transactions of the business world or corporate world are enormous numerous transactions because it operates on a large scale day to in day to day business also they have many many transactions isn't it now transactions means some actions or events takes place in the life of any corporate or business and hence if daily transactions are on such a bulk scale or large scale someone has to be there to keep the track of it or record of it isn't it otherwise things will be like we will uh, lose the rec- a track we will lose the track so someone has to maintain a record of all these activities in terms of money or for monetary uh, affairs this is where the role of an accountant comes in a person who actually maintains the records of the financial affairs of any maybe business or corporate world etc will be termed as an accountant because he will be accounting for each and every transaction that takes place for the business unit and this is how he will start now our accounting or accountancy we can trace the roots of accountancy in our very primitive or great rich culture in case of india we can trace the roots of accountancy in long back in ramayana period maybe 5 5000 years ago wherein ram had asked his his younger brother bharat to take care of all the expenses incomes whatever revenues for his own kingdom in ayodhya to look after all these uh, expenses and incomes for his kingdom in ayodhya on behalf of himself or even in the period of chandragupta maurya his friend guide philosopher and guru chanakya kautilya he had also explained all these rules etc for accountancy for maintaining the expenses and incomes of any kingdom etc or household for that matter also in his book arthashastra so even in even in other countries in ancient or primitive ages of the world history we can trace the roots of accountancy in china egypt greek italy etc so this is how we have been using accounting since old ages but today we are supposed to follow certain rules regulations circulars standards to maintain the accounts today we are supposed to write the books of accounts okay so now accounting is also done by writing on large scale because it is it is physically not possible to remember all the transactions in case of a corporate or a business unit because they are operating at a large scale and hence we are required to make the note of accounts okay so these are called as books of accounts and the activity is called as bookkeeping so this is how accountancy now peeps in in writing form we are required to maintain the accounts in writing form because for the sake of its users because the users require the information on the basis of which they can take the rational decisions for themselves of course now who are these users these users are the owners themselves the owners would like to know how much profit they have gained in the business during a certain certain period the bankers who have given them the given the business unit the loan so if a credit is given a loan is given by the bankers or other other uh, persons to the business then they would like to know how the business is operating whether the business is going into losses whether they should give the advance the loan to the unit or not for this matter they are actually maintain the business unit is required to maintain the written accounts then the creditors the creditors are the persons who have given 
certain items materials to the business unit on credit that is not on the payment basis not on hard cash pay, hard cash basis so for them also the written accounts are of use the creditors can take the decision whether whether they should give the uh, material to such business unit on credit or not so this is how the written accounts will come into scene everywhere so all these are the there are many users like then government also comes in here government can take the the decisions regarding the payment of taxes collection of revenues government revenues from such business units on the basis of written accounts because the written accounts also show the profit the losses the debtors the creditors the actual financial position of the business for a particular period and hence the government also can decide the rate of taxes etc if certain books of accounts are maintained on a standard basis now this is how written accounts come into scene okay rest of the thing we will see in the next lecture do subscribe to this channel this channel will be very useful to you this channel will show you the basics of accountancy first grade 11 standard then 12 standard for ca students cs students that is chartered accountancy students company secretary students the cost and management accountancy students mba students bba bcom mcom all these students this channel will be very useful i hope i'm sure rather so be with me subscribe to this channel thank you for watching this goodbye till the next lecture take care